I am going to go out and say the only way the Raptor will turn around is trading for Giannis in 2025 <laughs> when the Bucks are not playing well. That is the only shot we got. Boom goes the dynamite. Welcome everyone to another great episode of Tea Time with Tommy. We are back after my long trip. South Korea, as you can see, it says Pan Mingo, which means the Republic of South Korea. That was a great month, guys. I miss Norbs, Britt, Sir Robert. So I'm glad we are back at Tea Time, Sir Robert. Britt cannot join us, but we got the Norbster with me. I will act as moderator. I will be Brittany Nguyen. Might need a wig, but that's not going to help the show. All right, so let's go. <laughs> How are you doing, Norb? It's been a month. So pretty good, you. pretty good. Yeah, welcome back, and I hope you had a good trip and enjoyed yourself with the family. So, yeah, oh, for sure. It was, it was great. Maybe someday we'll do a tea time in Seoul, South Korea. Time zone. I gotta, uh, I gotta, I gotta learn the language, you know, and uh, watch some baseball over there and uh, in, enjoy the culture. <laughs> Damn, Ingu. Damn, Ingu. All right. So, uh, as you can see, only only the cr people of South Korea know what, what I was talking about. All of you guys are lost. So, uh, let's move on. So, yes. Good to see you again, Norm. It's good to see you again. So, I'm going to talk Toronto Raptors basketball this episode, guys. So, as we know, currently the Raptors stand 6-8, and eight, Norm's 11th in the Eastern Conference. Not bad. Not the worst, but not great, right? We're always in the middle. Good old Raptors. So, I'm going to go first question to you, Norm's, is... What do you think the Raptors are so far? How do you think they're doing so far? Well, they are a young team, and honestly, like you know, this is this is one of the things that the the the, the Toronto sports fans should understand about the Raptors. Like they they go in different uh, you know chapters of of their franchise, and year by year, it's something different. And so far, yeah, six and eight, uh, they're they're rather average right now. But uh, I I think that. You know, it's a growing process for them. Uh, the first 14 games of the year, it's not very easy uh, to, to start off uh, the season. And, you know, they have a new coach. They're, he's still getting his feet wet, getting to know the players, getting to know this very young Raptors team. And this is something that Toronto sports fans should really understand about this uh, Toronto Raptors franchise. I mean, like coming off of a great 2019 uh, NBA championship and then starting over again, basically, uh, um, to to rebuild their franchise, so yeah, I mean, it it, it is again growing pains uh, again for for the Raptors to to develop their team more and to you know try to get that spark back. And this is just the baby steps right now for for the Raptors. So I I think that uh, they'll they'll grow, they'll learn, they'll progress. Uh, you know, in in the season. Um, uh, it's 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 baby steps, man. Like they they are a very young team right now. Oh, well put, uh, Norm. So we're gonna be very patient again, uh, as guys. I believe so. I agree with you, Norm. We're gonna be very patient again. It's gonna take us another two decades for us to be <laughs> when when we turn fifty <laughs> and fifty five. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. You know, Scotty's gonna <laughs> leave us on free agency. He's gonna go to Miami or LA. That's where Scotty's gonna go. He's from Florida, though, eh? So he could be heading back. Is that Miami. right? Yeah. He what well, he played for oh, Florida that... State. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna lose Scotty. We're gonna lose Pascal. We're gonna lose uh, Schroeder and all our best players. And we're gonna have to rebuild and wait for two decades. Hopefully, you and I will be alive, uh, Norbs, by then. <laughs> we will make another uh, championship run. But I, I agree. Like, I mean, they're young. Like, I mean, uh, Scotty's coming into his own. Thank goodness, that's a bright spot. Siakam's coming into his own right now. Uh, I believe, uh, you know, Schroeder was a huge pickup, in my opinion. I think he's an improvement. I love Freddie V, but he's been a huge improvement. We just, I think we're just missing, of course, that one superstar we've always been missing since Kawhi left us. That one superstar that can just take us over. And uh, you know what? Scotty needs help. You know, Scotty is that secondary piece, I believe. He's that secondary piece. He just needs that one more guy next to him. I think we can make a run, but 
you know, once again, he's probably going to leave like Chris Bosch left us back in uh, 2010 uh, to the heat. And he'll leave. He'll go to Miami and we'll be stu- stuck. We'll be stuck with a bunch of losers. <laughs> well, but you know what? Let's it's, give them time. Yeah, you're right. It's not a complete waste for the Raptors, honestly. Like they are, yeah, they yeah. are, they're doing all right. <laughs> we okay, but, uh, you know, but not, but not to the level of like superstar and like how the Minnesota Timberwolves are right now, or how the Orlando Magic is right now, or even Dallas. Like, yeah, this is a growing team and a progressing team uh, I like from I like from them. the very beginning. So, yeah, I really like them, and uh, being. So uh, my good friend, Nem Stankovic, who's a fellow Serbian, being a fellow Serb that I am, I am uh, also going for the Raptors because our head coach, please forgive me, people of Serbia and Nem and Nora for pronouncing this man's name wrong, if I have, Darko Rahokovic. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm going to get killed. (laughs) Rahokovic, is that right? I'm going to get killed. I I love the people of Serbia and Belgrade. I'm sorry for mispronouncing his name. But yes. I think let's give this guy time. He's a great coach. He did great. He did well before coming to the Raptors. And uh, yeah, it should, let's give him a chance. Absolutely. So, Norris, going on the segue into question number two, then, who uh, what are the players of? I think we kind of answered question number two, but who are the two players that you believe has to step up uh, to get us at least into the playoffs by the end of this year for the Raptors? Well, I'm very uh, impressed about the Dennis Schroeder's uh, performance. Uh, so far for the Raptors, the first 14 games. Um, I mean, last game against the Orlando Magic, he scored 24 points. That's that's pretty good, um, you know, considering that, you know, he, um, the, you know, uh, playing for a young team like like the Raptors is, is uh, you know, I, I hope that he far exceeds his expectations uh, for, for this year. And, and he's doing well so far. Pascal Siakam, as usual, you know, he's he's been a clutch performer 16 points eight assists last game uh you know the the points per game for the raptors is not very well not very good right now 21st overall near the bottom of the pack but i think uh you know with uh, the their new coach's direction I, I i do think that they have to build the confidence um to just just to uh, play play well this year and i i do think that they have the tools they just need to like play 110 percent every game it, it it's tough it's tough to play against like you know really good teams like um you know the denver nuggets or like the, the timberwolves or 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 dallas um you know they they just have to like build a confidence and and build that uh solid ground get their get their foot like you know up and running and uh, i think they'll do well um they may not be a playoff contender contending team they could come close they could come close if they go on a roll, but uh, you know, again, this is a this is a really um, progressing Raptors team right now. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're doing they're doing all right. I mean, they're not they're not the worst stop team. <laughs> they could have been like uh, you know the the Pelicans or something or uh, other yeah. or the Grizzlies. Uh, but yeah, they're they're doing well at least. Uh, I am so sorry. I was reading <laughs> up on our, our new head coach, Darko Ryovic. Uh, what, so the two players you thought you said that step up is Scotty and Siakam. Is all you said, Norbs? I I said uh, Schroeder and Siakam. You know what? Yeah. Good. They really got to step up. Yeah. I Even will more. go. No, that's good. I can't disagree with you. Those two picks, uh, Norbs. I I'm gonna go with Scotty and uh, Schroeder because Siakam's amazing. He's good. He's a he's our scorer, pure scorer on the team. But Scotty, I think, is the leader. I think he's got that leadership quality. He's starting to really play well on the court too, and he's going to end up being the leader of our team by the end of this year or next year. So I think he's definitely got to step up, and he has he has stepped up. But for us to make the playoffs, he's going to be superhuman. And the huge pickup, Schroeder, Dan Schroeder, man, has he really uh, played well, Norbs? Like I mean, so lucky we got this guy when we lost Freddie V. He's been very uh, stellar at the point guard position. Schroeder definitely making plays, making dimes on the court steadying our offense he's like our quarterback so we need him just like he won with uh germany i think uh the, the i believe it was a silver medal he won he's go he has to uh definitely step it up like that time he had in the world fiba championships with for germany so yeah schroeder and barnes i'm looking at that can help us uh uh not make the title run but i mean man make a de- make maybe a playoff maybe we can win a playoff series so uh 
that's that those are the two players. Good, good choice. So yeah, Siakam. Shoulder. We're talking about the big three. Uh Siakam, Shoulder, yeah. and uh Barnes. Yeah, uh, totally. Holy, let, let's go with the last question for our beloved Toronto Raptors. Um, do you think we can turn it around? We're six and eight right now. Uh, and this in season tournament drive me nuts. That's confusing, so I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> we got smashed by who's our last team that smashed us in that tournament. The magic. Out. Magic destroyed us. So magic yeah. playing. Do you think we can turn around, Norris? Do you think we can turn around and make the playoffs by the end of this year? I know it's only it's early in the season, so do you think we can turn around? Um it yeah, again, it's it's early in the year. We don't really know what to expect. Uh you know, I, I think there's some rule changes too that 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 has happened uh, this year. I understand, um, and yeah, I mean, I I think that the Raptors right now should just like focus on like trying to build a solid team um, under a new direction of a coach that has experience prior. Um, you know, we 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 should not really expect the, the the Raptors to go you know shoot the moon and make the postseason this year. Um, I do think that they have to just uh, continue to uh, build a solid uh, ground, solid roster uh, with the flares they have because they they have a lot of great talent in their team. And uh, to I mean <laughs> to exceed expectations, uh, I I don't think the the Raptors are expected to do that now. Uh, they'll probably finish in the middle of the pack in the Eastern Conference. Um, we we'll just see uh, how this. Uh, in season tournament goes, uh, if if uh, if they somehow make some progress, um, it's it, it's going to look promising. But but to me, like this is a growing year, as I mentioned, a progressing year. So uh, definitely, they just need to focus on uh, building a solid team. Uh, you know, uh, build a foundation on a solid ground, and and uh, hopefully that uh, they can take it to next to next season, the years to come. Great answer, great answer, Norris. I am going to go out and say the only way the Raptor will turn around is trading for Giannis in 2025 <laughs> when the Bucks are not playing well. That is the only shot we got. Trade for Giannis. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm going to go back to reality. Uh <laughs> Isn't he under contract with the Bucks uh, still? Oh, he's not. Uh, he's not, he's so. not leaving. He's not leaving Milwaukee. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, listen, listen. <laughs> like going off, like, quickly going off topic. Sorry, Nars. You know what? Hey, Bucks are, do look good right now with uh, Dame time and uh, Giannis. But I mean, they don't win the title next two years. If they don't win the title in the next two years. Like Giannis said, title. He wants titles. They don't win the title in the next two years. They 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 got to they got to go through. They got to go through like a. Uh, um, teams Boston, like the, the Philly, Celtics. Miami. Yeah, they they're they're solid right now. Uh, solid Eastern uh, Conference teams right now. Yeah. Like hey, a lot hey, of Indiana, tough, a lot of tough teams right now. Indiana with Halliburton, they're all coming up right now. So uh, doesn't look easy for the Bucks uh, path as it is, and they lost J. Rue and their defense. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, Lillard is a Hall of Fame offensive player, but he can't play defense. So I mean, yeah, and the Bucks are doing great and, now. Right. And and hats off to the Sixers. I mean, like, you know, ever since they traded away Harden. <laughs> yeah, James they have Harden a real coach. To the Clippers. They took our coach. They, they took I our mean, coach. yes. See see what happens? Like when people leave Toronto, they, they have successes in, in other teams and, and hats Kawhi. off to Nick Nurse and the Except Sixers. Kawhi, Kawhi like, <laughs> has not done well since he left. Yeah. Shame on you, they, Kawhi. I'm yeah, kidding. and the, and that that the drama the heart that Harden left of uh, Philadelphia, like it's it's no longer there because they're doing well. They're doing I, way better I, than the Clippers, uh, right? <laughs> I nothing against the uh, Milwaukee fan base. Great city, great fan. You've been there, great fan base. But I hope Milwaukee gets trounced every year in the first round. <laughs> I really do. I, I, I mean, I, anyways, uh, I'm going off topic, but tr Masai had Dame in his hand. Masai, I, I seriously don't know if Masai is trying to sabotage us and then resign. Like I don't know what's going through that guy's head. Because every time there's reports, he's making a deal and he pulls out. So I don't know if he doesn't want to doesn't want to like trade Pascal or or Scotty, and then they'll hate him, and he's going to hurt his feelings. Like this is the feelings business. This is like eh, this is the business of winning. But anyways, I went too far. I apologize to Norris and all the viewers, guys. But uh, yeah, uh, I think the Raptors can turn it around. I think that uh, Scotty Schroeder and Pascal are enough to turn it around. Now we got to be realistic. They're not going to win the title with these three. 
but they can make it interesting. Maybe we could even go second round of the playoffs. These three just turn it on, right? We got some uh, depth depth uh, scoring now. Grady Dick's coming to his own. I think P- Jakob Poldo, uh, they're coming. We got, we got some good bench players too. So as long as Siakam and Scotty and uh, Schroeder do it, like I, I really like Scotty and Schroeder. Like, I mean, man, these two have really like stepped up. So especially yeah, Scotty. So, definitely, uh, yeah. Definitely, let's uh, let we can. T- I think the Raptors can turn around. I'm watching two games live this year, Norm. So I'm gonna see them against there you Victor go, Wambayama and the Spurs. And then for my birthday, me and my brother are going to see the Ma- Luca and uh, the Raptors. I mean, man, there you go. Uh, yeah, imagine if Luca joined Wambayama someday. Eh? Oh man, they'll, they'll be a killer team, but uh. It'll be in Dallas, not San Antonio, because San Antonio is three three and eleven right now, <laughs> and no, I, I, I know that uh, Coach Coach uh, Popovich is, you know, a legendary coach, but uh, you know he's he's really starting from the very oh, the very is, foundation of this team they, co- to, to build good, them back I, up again. I think Lucas should go to San Antonio because I mean I don't think uh, Wemby Wemby's leaving San Antonio. Like I mean he's, I think he likes that environment with Pop. Yeah. You know, so uh, I mean, man, he'll he'll I, stay he'll stay in the state though, because Dallas is not far away. I mean, yeah, uh, so, I, don't I mean, know how either, long the drive is maybe it's an hour flight. To, to e- either time. one of them, either one of them could just just join, just move. No difference. Either one of them could just go. Yeah, and they'll be the powerhouse Texas team. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've seen, but man, those two went at it together, man. And man, if those two could come together, oh yeah, like w- like Wemby needs to only be like three years into the league. And then Luca can go in yep. there in his prime and just win titles. Oh, anyways, why am I talking about? Why are we talking about Texas? It's Toronto, Canada, Norris. What are we doing, anyways? <laughs> uh, but sorry, sorry, we went off the tangent, viewers. I hope we. Got, but that we're just like we just love basketball, and uh, yeah, definitely. Hopefully, the Raptors will do it. Let's turn it around. Well, and hey, before we uh, go, Norris, I just want to say I'm glad I'm, we're back. Tea time is back now. Full force, guys. Get ready. We're gonna bring you all sports. Britt and Sir Robert will be joining us here and there, and uh, it's gonna be fun. But uh, anything else you want to say about the Raptors' state of affair, Norris, before we go? Um, good luck to them. I mean, they they are they are a a really young team, promising team, and they're they're very exciting. Uh, very exciting brand of basketball to to watch, and uh, it's it's sad that uh, you know ticket prices for Raptors games these days are. Are through oh. the roof, uh, but uh, yeah, just ridiculous, like ridiculous. But yeah, I mean, Bank like, Arena. Yeah, I I totally uh, think that the, the the Raptors are a very promising team, and that's all I gotta say. I mean, they they are a solid bunch, and uh, they're gonna do well. They're gonna progress. Um, that you know, their their coach will be very successful in the future. So yeah, I mean, all all the all the good luck goes to them. All last the thing, good luck. Last thing, Last thing though, I get for, before we go off. Uh, final, I promise. Uh, man, I went, me and Sir Robert went to the Bills and uh, Jets game last week. We need to take. We are the best basketball fans in the NBA. I guarantee that us Raptors fans, we are the best. But we need to take that Bills passion those fans have and bring it to Raptors Nation. I mean, we should get tailgate parties allowed at Scotiabank Arena. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't should, think there'll be get any room people for people dancing party. on bands. <laughs> <laughs> we should get like uh you know neighborhood houses coming into uh Scotiabank Arena so they have that nice little uh fan uh effect when people come visit and see the Raptors. I mean I, I, and we should have like helicopters, military helicopters coming through the top, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh man. Well, so yeah, it, they know what they're doing. Yeah. I wish it was gra- more more grandiose to have a uh, to have a tailgate party in front of uh um, Scotia Bank Arena for Raptors games, but uh, yeah, oh. it's we don't have the space for it. We don't have. The I know. Capacity. I know. We don't, I, we're we don't... the best fans in the NBA. I'm not knocking. Yeah, we're the best. we got condos there. and office buildings all around, oh, surrounding man, the I building. Just... Like it's it's oh. not it's, it's it's not good. <laughs> not good for yeah, tailgates. We, we just don't noise have, complaints. We just, we we'll, have... we'll uh, yeah, through, we'll, we'll go through the roof. Yeah, <laughs> I just wish we had that feel. But anyway, that's that's another story in itself. But anyways, thank you guys. Thank you, Norbs. Thank you guys for joining us. For another great episode of Tea Time with Tommy. Please get the merch link below, guys, for Tea Time with Tommy merch. We have a great cup. Norbs didn't buy his own, of course. But uh we have back. somewhere berry. <laughs> somewhere berry. We're back, Tea Time with Tommy. <laughs> Alright. You can see my good friend Norbs Cabrera next to me. Tommy Lee. 
signing out. Uh, on another note, please like and subscribe our podcast, Tea Time with Tommy, or else Tommy will throw tea at you. <laughs>